I'm Jennifer Gray, Director of the Bermuda Turtle Project. Hi, I'm Dr. Gail Roth. I'm a veterinarian and I'm a volunteer for the Bermuda Turtle Project. We're here today to share with you some guidelines for sea turtle rescue. Sea turtles are cold-blooded, air-breathing aquatic reptiles designed for life in the ocean. They are long-lived, slow to mature, and have been on our Earth for more than 125 million years. All sea turtle species are endangered or threatened, and their continued survival on Earth now depends on us. Five of the world's seven sea turtle species are known to occur in Bermuda waters. The green turtle, because of its habitat and behaviors, is the most likely to be seen in Bermuda. We have hawksbill turtles living cryptically on the reefs, and loggerheads, leatherbacks, and the Kemp's Ridley could also be encountered. Sea turtles were doing fine on this planet until man introduced unsustainable practices and new threats. The juvenile aggregation of green turtles living in Bermuda are safe from many of these threats, but they do suffer from entanglement in discarded fishing gear and marine debris, ingestion of plastics, and boat strikes. Here's what you need to know if you encounter a sea turtle you think is in trouble. If you encounter a turtle motionless at the surface, chances are there is something wrong. You can help by reporting the turtle to our hotline. Call 293-2727 and then pound 999. Be sure to dial the pound key before the 999. This will take you directly to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center at the Bermuda Aquarium. If your call is not immediately answered, leave a message and someone will call back soon. Alternatively, if you're out on the boat and have a VHF radio, you can report the stranding to the Marine Operations Center via Channel 27, and they will contact us. It is illegal to harass or handle a sea turtle in the wild, but when our rescue team are unavailable, we appreciate public support rescuing sea turtles. The sooner a sea turtle can be brought in for treatment, the better its chances for survival. If you see a turtle floating on the ocean, always approach it very slowly. Turtles are heavier than they look, so if you're planning on bringing it on board your boat, be sure to place the lowest part of your boat near the turtle. Grab the turtle as close to the shell as possible. The thick muscles will protect the bones. Always face the mouth of a turtle away from you. Hold on tight and lift the animal out of the water, making sure the tip of the shell has cleared the gunnel of the boat. To avoid shell damage, never rest the tail end of a turtle shell on the deck or any other surface. Now it's time to consider whether to put the turtle upside down or right side up. This will depend on how strong or weak the turtle is. Be sure the deck is clear and there are no objects in the area that the turtle could swipe with a flipper once you let go. An alert turtle will do its best to escape. Crawling on a deck or other substrate can cause damage to the soft tissue of the plastron or belly. It can also lead to flippers scraping against boat fittings or other objects that can tear the tender skin. In this case, it's best to place the turtle upside down on a soft surface. A turtle on its back is unable to turn over, and they know this, so they give up any fight, relax, and sometimes even go to sleep. A bent, strapped swim noodle makes the best bed for a turtle and does not slide much on a deck. A life jacket can also work. Ensure the back or carapace of the turtle is resting on the bed and that the neck is not bent at a sharp angle which could cut off air supply. Do not put the turtle in water. Sloshing around in a cooler or a bucket of water can lead to drowning. They are air-breathing animals and can be out of water for many hours before dehydrating. They are also cold-blooded and at the mercy of ambient temperatures, so be sure the turtle does not overheat. Keep it in the shade and gently pour water over it periodically, avoiding the face. You can also cover the animal with a damp or wet cloth but don't use a heavy towel, which could put undue weight on the animal and stress on the lungs. In the case of a very weak or extremely sick turtle that shows no sign of crawling away, it's best to place it on a soft surface on its belly. This keeps weight off the lungs so it can breathe easier. 
The lungs of a turtle are placed just under the shell on its back. Again, be sure the neck is not kinked, keep the animal out of the sun, cool and moist. If a turtle is sluggish or not active, it may also have water in its lungs. Raising the hind flippers about 20 centimeters off the surface can help to drain the lungs. A lethargic turtle can be placed in a box or similar container to prevent movement. In the case of severe trauma, such as a boat strike or severe injury, limit movement as much as possible. Plastic or saran wrap placed over a shell crack helps stop lung oxygen from escaping the body cavity. In the case of severe bleeding, Treat the animals as you would a human. Ensure the wound stays clean and pack it or bandage it to reduce bleeding. Never assume a lethargic or motionless turtle is dead. The heart could still be beating and protocols should be followed. Keep the animal moist and cool. Getting it to the experts as quickly as you can offers the best hope. Sometimes when it seems like all hope is lost, there is hope. Sea turtles are extremely resilient and given time can heal from the most horrific accidents and traumas. Those that don't make it provide valuable information. They help us to understand their biology better and improve our success rate in helping them. You too can help by following these guidelines, taking your time when on the water, and if you see one of our turtle alert signs, be sure to proceed slowly. There are useful items for sea turtle rescue you may already have or could add to your kit. The hotline number is most important. Something to rest the turtle in or on, a container for water, a lightweight towel to provide shade, cooling and moisture, surgical gloves for handling, saran wrap for open shell wounds, a calm demeanor and a caring touch. For more than half a century, the research of the Bermuda Turtle Project has focused on the understanding of green turtle biology so that successful protection can be promoted for these animals in Bermuda and throughout their range. Please join our investigation into sea turtle life by learning more about the activities and discoveries of the Bermuda Turtle Project and by supporting our research and education initiatives.